that they may not continue believing. That's why you see him bringing so difficult things in life. Signs that you have never seen in your body, at your place of work. The idea is he's silencing you. That you may keep quiet. That you may not recognize. That you may not see the mightiness of Jesus Christ. But then the secret is to remember. Hallelujah. Oh, this one was a neighbor. He said, Don't you fear then God? Jesus is on the cross. But then he was unable to remember, Oh, that is God. The meaning he was unable to remember. Or oh, the might thing that he had done. That he resurrected Lazarus. And we bear witness we went and saw him. That he had resurrected him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this one is a, a savior. They are only describing to But we are here because of our sin. But this one is being deprived. It is not rightful for him to be on the cross. He is the savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the time now, the faith of revival and miracles will follow with those who believe. Uh, who in their hearts at all times they are remembering the mighty power of Jesus Christ. The one who saved me there and resurrected me there. Amen. Amen. I came here. I was a destitute. I had no place to sleep. Leo ni nyumba. But today I have a house. Kama ni Even if it's a mad house. Kama ni nini. Even if it's a mad house. Ni kuwa, but then before that, wa kila siku. I was a tenant somewhere. Kila saa, a person who sees at all times the mighty power of Jesus Christ, the salvation of Jesus Christ. Today I am no longer a tenant. Mahalipangu. I'm sleeping in my own house. Kama pakoje ni kwangu. Even if it's all, uh, Lord, but then it's mine. Ye, so the one who delivered me from being a tenant he will also give me a good place so a such person will never be discouraged hallelujah, hallelujah. You cannot discourage him. And every time he has eyes that see the might power of Jesus Christ. So for him to faint. Until you see us no peace, a person who remembers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You find this brother or this sister, miracles are following him because he's a person who remembers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But then you can be a man who is always abusing Jesus Christ. You are saying, oh, where is God? They say, when I give a tithe to God and thanksgiving, I'll see blessing. Why is it that my business is going down? So that way you abuse it. You are saying, if he's the Savior, then why is he not saving me? Hallelujah. You are saying in your heart, if truly is the Savior, then why not deliver me here from this problem? Because I gave there and I offered myself there. Then why doesn't he deliver me? That way you are insulting. But then one says, even if I'm bankrupt, even if I'm not moving ahead, but I know because of my sin, I've not given the way I'm supposed to be. I've not obeyed the way I'm supposed to be. But Jesus saved me. Is remembering pale, that he saved me there and I saw a miracle there. He is a savior. Maybe I am the one at the second time not obeying his voice. So this one, his joy and his pain, you find every time is being manifested. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mana, because if you are not cautious, you may be here clapping 
Tumerudiwa dini kama kawaida. But then you've come the richest people like ordinary people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini kuimba twaimba. But then singing we are singing. Na kusefo and replacing. Na tuimbe kwaya. And also we sing in the choir. Na tuje matare. And also we play the tambourine. Lakini tumerudi watu wa kawaida. But then you have gone to be ordinary people. Maana shetani ametutisha. Because the devil has scared us. Ametusahaulisha tulikotoka. He has made us forget where we came from. Na tuna makubwa Mungu ameyafanya katikati yetu. And the great things that God has done in our midst. Hallelujah. You read for us again the same verse. Then why is this one entering? And you don't enter into the blessings of the God. You read for us. Na moja wa wale wahalifu walio tumbikwa walimtukana akisema, "Je wewe si Kristo? Je uko nafsi yako na sisi?" Lakini yule wa pili akamjibu akamkemea akisema, "We humwogopi hata Mungu na u katika hukumu hiyo hiyo." Nayo ni haki kwetu sisi kwa kuwa tunapokea malipo tuliyostahili kwa matendo yetu bali bali huyu hakutenda lolote lisilofaa kisha akasema e Yesu nikumbuke utakapoingia katika ufalme wako Yesu akamwambia amini na kwambia leo hivi utakuwa pamoja nami peponi and one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him saying if thou be Christ save thyself and us but the other answering rebuked him saying does not thou fear God, think thou art in the same condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anaingia katika utukufu wa Mungu. He is entering to the glory of God. Anaingia katika miujiza ya Mungu. He is entering the miracles of God. Kwa kutambua. Because of recognizing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kweli huyu yuko msalabani pale. Truly I am on the cross there. Ana dhiki kweli. He is under going some tribulation. Ana yuko katika hukumu kweli. He is in judgment. Lakini but huyu ni wa kuokoa. This one is a savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akajaliwa. So he was enabled. Kukumbuka miujiza ile aliyofanya. To remember the miracle that he did. Ah. Ah. Hapa alipo. Where he is? Ni kuonewa. He's not being deprived. Huyu ni mwana wa Mungu. But this one is the son of God. Amen. Amen. Sisi tuko hapa. We are here. Kwa dhambi zetu. Because of our sin. Kwa maovu yetu. Because of our iniquity. Lakini huyu hana baya amefanya. But this one has nothing amiss has done. Anamwambia Yesu niokoe. So he said Jesus remember me. Uendapo peponi. When you go into paradise. Bana Yesu akamwambia. Jesus answered and said. Leo hii tutakuwa pamoja. Today we shall be together. Hata wewe. Even you. Waweza kuwa utukanae Mungu. You may be somebody who is insulting God. Unapofika kwa dhiki. When you come into tribulation, unatukana. You are insulting. Unakufuru. You are blaspheming. Mungu gani huyo? What God is this? Walisema tukitoa zaka. They say when you give a tithe, utaona baraka. We shall see blessing. Walisema ukibariki. They say when you bless, utaona mema. You're going to see good things. Walisema ukiunga madhambi. They say when you confess your sins, you pa uzima. You enter into life. Mimi sioni kitu. But where am I not singing anything? Wao wamenuombea sioni kitu. Preachers are praying for me, but I'm not singing anything. Eh. Hey. Yeah. Kila unachoombewa hakiokoki. Anything that you are praying for is not coming to fruition. But you are enabled in your heart to say, Hili si okolewi nalo. I'm not safe from this. Najua kuna dhambi mimi. I know there is a sin somewhere. Kabla mahali kuna dhambi. Maybe there's somewhere there is a sin. Mimi sijaiona. And I have no sin that Lakini ujaliwe kuona. But you are able to say, Yes, ni wakuokoa. That Jesus is the savior. Hata kama hajafanya kitu kwako. Even if he has not done anything to you. Lakini ikiwa aliponya ndugu yule. But if he healed the brother. Na nisikia akiokoa Johana. And you had him healing brother. Na rimba aliokoka. And rimba also was also saved. Na kahindi akaokoka. And Kahindi was also saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ujaliwe kuona uokovu huo. So you are able to see the salvation. Kukumbuka uokovu huo. And to remember the salvation. Hajafanya kwako. He has not done to you. Lakini ukusikia akifanya kwa wengine. But haven't you heard that he had done to somebody? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukusikia akiokoa mwingine. Didn't you hear that he saved somebody? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Je, now kwa kuona hayo, because of seeing that, kukumbuka hayo, and remembering that na kujaliwe kwa kuona ya kwamba and enable to see hii dhiki iliyo nayo mimi that the tribulation I'm undergoing ah, is because of my sin lakini Yesu ni wa kuokoa Jesus is the savior Yesu ni wa kuokoa Jesus is the savior Bana Yesu ni wa kuokoa Jesus is the savior Bana Yesu ni wa kuokoa Jesus is the savior Kwa aliinua Lazarus if we resurrect Lazarus na mwana wa mujane and the, the son of the anapelekwa kaburini he was carried taken to the grave Bana Yesu akasema and Jesus said tukisheni jeneza put him down tukisheni chini put him down Mama analia mjane. Oh, the woman was crying. Bwana Yesu akamuita mwana ile ya mka. Called the son, wake up. Mwana akafunguka macho and the eyes open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So if we save that one and he's erected that one, what about my issue? Anybody who's unable to remember and to see that Jesus, the, the things that he did in the midst of your brother, this one, fear cannot dwell with him. Because what is inside the church today is fear and worries. We have become religious people. You know the religious people? They can preach and even testify. Even some can be saved. But then personally, going according to the word, they cannot. When problems come, they run away from God. They don't run towards God, but they run away from God. Amen. Amen.